guys, figured I'd do an update on the brush cutter deck for the old simplicity. Um, so far, I've got the engagement set up, put together. The way I'm going to do this is I'm going to have this rod here. I'm going to take this rod, I'm going to weld a tab here, drill a hole in it, so this rod will go through the hole and then just put a cotter pin in there. And then on the other end, down by that white line, I'm going to put a handle so when you pull on it, it will lift this up to disengage the uh, deck. And then when you, pull, when you pull on the handle, it'll push it down to engage the deck. And then when you push on the handle, it'll disengage it. Um, that's as far as I've gotten on this, um, but uh, the second update is on the brown trailer that I showed you guys in my first video. Um, I almost uh, had a little catastrophe with that thing. Um, the way that trailer was put together was the plywood floor is what held the sides together, held them up and together on the trailer. Well, the plywood deck was so rotted out that one of the sides actually dropped down and it was rubbing on the tire. And I'm coming to work and I look back and I see smoke and I'm like, oh crap. I look back and uh, it was start starting to come apart. So I chained the side up, brought it up to work here, and then cut the bed apart. Well, when I did, I noticed that there was a pretty decent trailer frame under it. So, uh, this trailer, uh, the, bo the dump trailer here, um, the original tongue was all bent up and rotted out, and, and uh, there's the axle. Well, when I built it, I used the axle as a pivot point, like a hinge, uh, to dump the box. Well, the problem with that is I didn't have the axle far enough back on the trailer to um, dump it enough for the stuff to slide out of it. So what I did was I took the box here, set it on the trailer, on the trailer frame, and then up underneath here, I don't know if you guys can see it, the light kind of stinks, but um, I welded, I had a couple of really heavy hinges, so I welded one end to the, to the trailer frame, and then the other end to a cross member on the box. So I, what I basically did was make one good trailer out of two. And I mean, it's pretty stout, I mean, it's not, I mean, it's, you know, I mean, she's, I've hauled almost a ton on this trailer when it had, had the pickup bed on it, so, um, and the nice thing, uh, I tried this out today, you just, you know, crank the handle and it dumps it, um, it definitely, it, it definitely dumps a lot higher, so, you know, uh, when I'm hauling mulch or stone or dirt with it, it'll all slide out and <laughs> I won't have to shovel it out but uh, that's the update on the trailer and uh, as far as the simplicity goes uh, any of you antique tractor guys out there I've got a question for you um, do you know if they made a flail mower for these little tractors and if so, can you uh, can you guys point me in the direction of maybe finding a used one that needs some work? Um, because um, I got the brush cutter deck, and uh, uh, I'd really like to have a flail mower for it. Um, so you know, if you guys can point me in the right direction, let me know. Um, as far as the tractor itself, I pulled the carburetor off, cleaned it out, 
and uh, adjusted it, you know, put the car back on it and uh, got her running, got the carb adjusted and she runs pretty, she runs pretty good now. Um, so I have uh, an old eight horse Briggs that bit the dust, the uh, um, rod let go, it was, a new, it was a newer horizontal shaft Briggs. Um, that was just so wore out it wasn't worth rebuilding and it finally it finally bit the dust so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the uh, air cleaner because it uses a, a paper element filter um, I'm going to use the you know that style filter and then the cover uh, to put on here so old Leote here has a an air cleaner um, I will get a video of of her running and, and driving, uh, I've got to get uh, a couple of belts because um, the belt that I have on it was one that I just had kicking around work here, and I just I just threw the belt on here to see how well the transmission worked, and she worked pretty good. So, but uh, I will definitely get a video of this uh, running and and moving on her under her own power and when I get the brush deck finished I will have the wifey poo uh, play camera lady and uh, you know I'll try her out cutting and, and, and get a video video of of the deck cutting and uh, I guess we'll all see how well see how well it works I mean I can't go wrong it didn't cost me anything to put it together I had the mandrel and uh, the pulleys and basically the the decks just made out of some scrap steel that I had kicking around work here so it didn't cost me anything so I guess we'll all see how well it works but as for now that's it guys I'll see you next time Ciao.